Well, when you work with computers long enough, these things happen. I just blew up uh, about 78 terabytes worth of hard drives. Stay tuned for the upsetting new video. I was on Reddit, I don't know, maybe a month ago, and I uh, just happened to come across this video right here. So this video here, I blew up my 78 terabytes, gone. So I found this video, I, I found it in some subreddit. I watched the video and I, I felt really bad for, for this guy. I think, holy crap, this guy blew up a bunch of drives and the drive's not cheap, right? Um, so I messaged him on Reddit. I said, listen, we fix drives and we do data recovery. And I didn't hear from him for, I don't know, two, three weeks. Uh, eventually I get a message from him and then he's actually interested in repairing it. A lot of people get actually in the comments on that video and comments on Reddit, give him some, some ideas. Some said to replace the boards. You know, board replacement doesn't always work depending on the type of drive. Some are locked, some are not. Some unlocked boards could be really expensive. Uh, probably uh, not worth buying. If the drive is only worth 200 bucks, you could be paying 250 for a board. Definitely not worth it. But uh, I reached out to him after some logistic issues. We met up on Sunday, which was a few days ago. Today's Tuesday. Uh, I picked up the drives from him and I got them here. I fixed them. So I filmed everything. I'm also going to give him um, my footage so he can make his own video. I'm um, not sure if he's, gonna, if he's gonna release it this Sunday, so you might be watching this video as he's releasing his video. Uh, so we're trying to coordinate that. But uh, yeah, so he, I think he plugged it in the Mollus cable, and which is a very common problem. You plug in the, the wrong cable in, uh, the wrong way Molex cable, if it's Molex to SATA, and it, it will just blow up all the, whatever drives on it. I've done it myself. It's easy to kind of force the connector in because I've done it. Uh, but yeah, so these are these are the drives here. Let me skip forward. So these are all the drives he blew up and that's his server. So uh, for more info on that, uh, check out his video. I linked everything in the description. And if he's got the new video, I'm also going to link his new video. Uh, or I'm going to link this whole channel in the description so you can check it out. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into this repair. It was quite simple for me because I know what to do. But watch, if, if you want to learn what can be what needs to be done on these drives, watch my video. So here are the drives. I picked them up from Darwin uh, yesterday. Um, I had a look at this drive so far. So this drive, uh, one of the diodes was shorted out. I removed it. Unfortunately, the drive still doesn't respond. So <clears throat> there's a good chance that there's another fault on the board that I haven't found yet. So I'm going to put this one aside for now. Uh, then I tackled uh, one of these. Uh, one of these here, Western Digital White Label. After removing the board, well, first thing I did, I actually plugged it into PC3000 and what was happening, uh, all the uh, control lights were grayed out. So that means the board is faulty, obviously. Um, so I checked the diodes, the diodes were good, but on these boards, there are also two fuses. If so there's a fuse here and a fuse there, you can see I already worked on it. So I removed this one fuse and replaced it. I mean, if it was data recovery, I would just run a wire there, but it's probably not safe. Um, so I have these fuses, some of them in stock. So I replaced the fuse. I plugged just the board into PC3000 and it does show busy now because the drive is not there. Uh, so let's put this board back onto the drive uh, and then we're going to test it out, see if the drive spins up. Hopefully there's no other damage to the drive other than uh, what, uh, what happened. So uh, let's uh, move it over to PC3000. So we're going to put the board back here. And this, these drives, they use different... Um, different screws for different locations i think this one goes here yeah this one uh, the gold one goes here and the other gold one goes down into the box okay let's see if we can put this guy in here now this isn't data recovery this is just a repair for him so obviously if the repair exceeds the cost of the drive then he doesn't want it so uh, we give him a good deal on this because uh, i want him to uh, Put these drives back in operation okay the board is on and i'm going to plug it in and test it now there's something darwin told me i uh, wasn't aware of these white drives the third pin over here is needs, needs to actually be uh, painted over or put tape over otherwise it will not work in a computer now pc3000 doesn't care about this pin so i don't have to do it but uh, for anyone who's using these white label drives you got to cover that last last pin or uh, your computer will not detect it I am almost certain this Western Digital is doing this, so you don't pull the drives out of the enclosure and just chuck them somewhere else. So 
Uh, that's probably the reason. But anyways, let's take it over to BC3000 and plug it in and see what happens. So let's plug this thing in here. Hopefully nothing blows up. And I'm not doing screen recording because I'm going to give him this footage for his YouTube channel. So let's get power and watch these lights. It's a good sign. The driver is spinning up. It should become ready. It's still spinning up. There it is, ready. So let's uh, see, that's a good sign. Bam. So that's good. So this is good. This is actually really good. The drive is showing up. Uh, so the one is fixed and let's uh, get the other ones looked after and see what's wrong with the other ones. Okay, so here we got the other drive. So I'm not gonna film all the drives. I'm gonna probably film after I'm done, but, uh, but let's just grab another one. Unless something weird comes up, then I'm gonna record the, any other drive we have, but uh, let's pull the board of this one and uh, see what's wrong with this drive. A lot of screws on these drives on the board. Hopefully none of them will need to replace the um, the board. I know the eight terabyte I worked on, I'm probably gonna have to find a board, but we'll see. So let's try the uh, 14 terabyte. Let's put this thing where it belongs. <clears throat> So I don't know if you can see on camera here. So like I said, there's the two diodes and then there's the two fuses, fuse here, fuse there. So the chances are that one of these fuses were probably, probably blown first. So let's go to a multimeter under microscope and have a look. So fuses first, no beep. This one beeps, okay. And this one, no beep. So once again, the same fuse is blown. So this fuse right here, it's a very tiny, tiny component. This fuse right here, I'm gonna also take a photo of it, um, overlay here, but this fuse right here is blown. Now I don't have the, uh, well, I do have a, the camera here over microscope, but unfortunately my computer that records is currently down, so I can't record uh, the overhead view. So the best way to deal with this fuse is to remove it. And I have a donor board here that has a fuse I can salvage. Probably gonna need more fuses because I only have, uh, I don't know how many boards I have like that. But let's do this. So we're gonna put a bit of flux here. And get our hot tweezers and remove this guy. Because I don't have the overhead camera working, uh, this is just me kind of uh, trying to repair this board. I'm salvaging a fuse off another board. Uh, this is a much older board, but the fuses are all the same. They, they still work on these newer boards, uh, but this is me removing it and, and moving it over. So the 14 terabyte is fixed. I, uh, I was switching lenses and I forgot to hit record, so I didn't record the uh, repair. Uh, so this one's fixed. It's okay, we have more drives to work on. so. We're gonna work on the 10 terabytes now then. I also repositioned the camera so it's facing down here, so it might be a bit better uh, to see what I'm doing. Because like I uh, mentioned earlier, I don't know if I mentioned it, but my overhead camera does not work. I mean, the computer that records doesn't work, so there's no overhead view, unfortunately. Okay, let's get these screws out. Again, West Digital puts a lot of screws in these boards. So this should be, again, a simple fix. Just a fuse that we have to replace. And this drive should be back in operations. Okay, last screw here. Let's get the board off. We don't need this thing, this to stay behind. <clears throat> so, it's definitely these tiny fuses 
it's definitely this fuse or that fuse that's blown 100 percent uh let's just uh check with the multimeter it's probably this one for sure it shouldn't beep no beep and this one this one beeps so once again it's the same fuse same location same thing got blown as this one right here the way we're going to do this we're going to put a bit of flux on here and get rid of this guy because we don't need it since it doesn't work get my hot tweezers here and we're going to lift it so once again the repair is all the same i'm going to use hot tweezers to remove that um, fuse that's blown and then salvage one from the donor board and then put it on this board and that's going to be it for the fix now let's test it so we're going to go with multi uh, with multimeter here we're going to see if it beeps it still should beautiful beautiful now let's take the board itself over to pc3000 and plug it in there and we'll see uh, if it works so i'm just going to plug in the board on its own and i'm going to see what what's happening uh here with the control lights i don't want to put the drive underneath the board yet because uh, just to be safe i don't want to blow up the drive so let me just plug it in quickly and we're going to test it okay board's plugged in watch the control lights i'm going to hit power right here i'm going to hit power on pc 3000 where's the mouse i'm going to hit power so let's just uh, hit power and done. that's it now the board is working so the drive will work okay board is done on the drive let's hit power so the drive should be spinning up <clears throat> this drive takes a while to spin up so we're not going to see ready uh, for at least good another 10 seconds or so but let's watch it here and it should be coming any minute now there it is so that's a good sign let's um let's see we should see 10 terabytes capacity there it is beautiful another drive fixed so we got these three fixed this one's in limbo right now and <clears throat> we got three more of the white label and then we have this one to look at hopefully this one hasn't met the same fate as this one but we'll see <clears throat> so a bit of development on the last uh, white label drive unfortunately this drive had a damaged connector you can see the SATA connector is damaged uh, obviously there's no way to repair this so um, Derek did give me a donor board that's not the same but it was good enough for the connector so I salvaged the connector um so i got the connector here i'm just gonna solder it on didn't film this part because i wasn't sure if it was gonna work this way but uh, i'm gonna solder it on now and then we're gonna also fix that fuse also on this board and then we should be good to go with the uh, second last drive so here we go the connector has been replaced i also replaced that one fuse uh this one where is it this one right here so the fuse has been replaced uh i plugged in the board the board works this is the old connector you can see that uh definitely uh i've seen better days and i'm gonna put this on the drive now and see if it works so before i slap a sticker on it here we go second last drive is fixed now i have to tackle the one seagate and the other one that i couldn't get to work so i fixed the uh, seagate board so here's what happened power came in blew up this fuse blew up this fuse and then blew up the diode that was that, that was here and that killed the board uh, so once i replace these two fuses uh, the board is working now i just have to replace this diode because he's going to use this drive further uh, but uh, i'm also going to tackle the other seagate uh, so this was the issue two fuses here and the diode so three components all together on the seagate was blown up Okay, so this is a six terabyte Seagate. The second one, let's hit power, see what happens. It's a good sign. Green is good. I don't hear clicking, but I also don't see it becoming ready. Oh, there it is, okay. So that's a good sign. Detect it. Boom, six terabytes, beautiful. So one more drive to go. At least I know what to do on the last drive because on this drive, that was the same issue. So two blown fuses and then the diode. So three blown components. 
So then I tackled the last CA drive. Again, same issue as the other CA drive, the two blown fuses plus the diode. So I salvaged it from another board that I had here and uh, also replaced the diode. And that was it uh, for this last hard drive. And luckily we were able to fix all eight hard drives. So that's it for this recovery. All the drives have been saved and you can use them again. Make sure to check out his channel and I linked everything down in the description. And this is also going to be my last video for 2022 and I'll see you in the next video.